Hello, hello. Welcome to Involuntary Dismount, our YouTube channel dedicated to the love of riding. Today, we're going to talk about a product that will extend the love of riding to the little ones in your life. It's called Shotgun. It is a saddle handlebar combo sold separately. You don't have to have both but I would recommend it. And it gives the little one in your life a place to sit on your mountain bike so you can take them along with you to shred some trail. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna install it, and then we're gonna talk about what we think about it right now. We have three kids. They all are in various stages and levels of ability when it comes to riding their bikes and so i wanted a way to get the younger kids out on the trail to kind of help them experience the love of mountain biking without the fear of falling over uh sort of but what if the bike falls let's cut into this bad boy our kids love boxes i'm sure yours do too if you have them if you don't have kids i don't know why you're watching this video uh, Maybe I have nephews, nieces, I don't know. Uh, anyway, our kids love boxes, so we tr try to keep it as pristine as possible so that they can have it. Here we go. Okay, yeah, paperwork. Nobody cares. There it is. Hey, look, that lady is having an excellent time with that child. I hope that's me soon. Here we go. Here's your actual saddle, the bike seat. And this really is the concept. You put your little tyke on there and their feet go there uh, on the, the saddle pegs and then they hold on there. So there's your stickers. So they know who they're selling to, right? Like obviously uh, your initial thought, at least mine was, is we'll give these to the kids and they'll enjoy it. But that's cool, good thinking. Good looking out. Quick start guide. All right, I'm sure I will reference this uh, right about that long. A little Allen wrench. Oh, there you go. So you got 13 mil, eight mil wrench. Um, supposing these are your stirrups. Very cool. There's your saddle. Here's your what I guess you oh what I guess you would call the frame of it. And then there's your pegs, which I'm supposing will mount through here and let little tyke get their feet on. Alright. Let's go set it up and try it out. So when you're fitting these foot pegs, yeah, just remember that if you put them on incorrectly, they can cause damage to your frame. So don't over tighten the foot pegs. First, attach the rubber stirrups, put those in place, and then you'll choose a size setting that has some clearance to it. Then you wanna screw both foot pegs by hand evenly and stop when the foot pegs just touch the steel of the swing arms. Then wind the central axle nut outwards by hand until they're just touching the inside of the swing arm on that side. So now that that's correctly positioned, you can tighten the foot pegs firmly by hand. I'm really just gonna kinda make it match my seat. That looks good to me. I'm gonna tighten these down and I'm gonna tighten this guy down. Now time for the handlebars. If you have 35 millimeter handbars, none of the included sleeves are required. If you do not, if you have 31.8 millimeter handlebars, you'll need the thin sleeves, and if they're 25 fours, you're gonna need the thick ones.
Uh, we're gonna get out and ride today, see how it rolls, come on. But what if the bike falls? I won't let it fall, that's my job. Okay. Having fun, buddy? Uh-huh. It's like I'm driving, <laughs> but... Wait, you know how I can't see you, but... I can see your hands, but not you. Sure. It's like I'm driving. Yeah. It's like I'm a grown-up. Figure this one out here. <laughs> That's a whole new experience on a pump track there. How's it feel for you? <laughs> bumpy. <laughs> a little bumpy, huh? Are you having fun? Uh huh. How many naps would you take? in order to keep the shotgun. What does a shotgun mean? Right. The thing you're riding on my bike with. How many naps would you take to keep it? Um, 101. It's a lot of healthy naps. I like it. A lot of quiet time for mom and dad. I like it even more. Okay. Just kidding. What? I can't even do that many naps. TV. I'm actually on TV right now. Whoa. It's in the forest right now. There's a bridge. There's another bridge, but we're not going on that one. Uh, you want to try the windy bridge? Hang on. Was that a jump? <laughs> a little bit. Like we landed on um, our back tire and on our front tire. Because I was like, that. I banged on to you, then banged on right that. That was fun. Okay, post ride review. Would I buy it again? Absolutely. And I paid full price for this puppy. This wasn't a giveaway. I wanted to check it out. So that's an honest opinion. So. My son is 44 inches tall, and he's probably right at the top of what you would want height-wise for somebody on the shotgun in front of you. Uh, normally, you pedal you know, this way with your knees, right? Your knees can stay straight. Uh, when you put somebody of that size on the shotgun in front of you, you can, I, at least in my instance, I had to kind of bow my knees out, and then I'm pedaling this way. So it's an entirely different workout, so I tired much more quickly than normal, but I mean, that's good in and of itself, right? Work a different muscle group and all that. Uh, but he had a great time, so it makes you not want to stop. And you can adjust your seat height was something I realized later was I was riding a little too low with him on it. But the, the higher I rode on the seat, the kind of easier it was to keep my knees as straight as normal. My daughter is 40 inches tall, and she was no issue at all. She got on, and I was able to ride much more comfortably, much more naturally. So 
that would bring me to the second point is the age and ability of the child if you want to say that uh, to ride shotgun there's kind of an intersection where two opposing ideas meet here and you have to decide which way to go uh, the first idea is go fast show them how to have a good time second idea is can you trust them to hang on not let go not want to look around and there's nothing about the shotgun inherently that is unsafe i'm not trying to say that uh, but it was always in the back of my head how fast can i go and get away with it and are they hanging on so i just kept saying okay hang on okay hang on as long as you hold on you're safe hang on okay hang on you hold on just hang on drop it in hang on uh, biggest pro is you're getting your kids on the trail you're spending time with them while you're doing something you love to do anyway uh, the other pros are you're spending time with your kids outside and doing things with them that you would want to do anyway. If you like it and you want to grab one, there's a link in the description below. If you have one and you have tips and tricks for how to use it that I didn't mention here, please, I'd love to hear it. So leave that in the comments. If you buy through that link below, it will help support the channel and we'll keep making videos about how much we love to ride. And we'll see you next time on Involuntary Dismount.